Good morning. I've got a 40 gallon stock tank from uh, Tractor Supply, and I'm going to do a goldfish pond and put it right about here in this area. First thing I want to do is put a drain hole so I can uh, drain the drain the, the water out without having to use a bucket. This piece here, TransUnion, bulkhead. That's going to go through here, backward thread, and then this will stick out. That would be, I can hook a garden hose here for draining that water out away from here. The only thing is I have to go kind of go over this little bump, which I didn't want to do. Let's make sure, again, I've got to, it's backward thread, so i got to reverse my thinking. All right, I got the hole opened up enough. I got that little bump I'm concerned about. So I'm going to put some silicone around that. Just to help get a little extra bite. There we go. This is the inside here. Backwards head, so I gotta think. Take it off. Take it off to get it on. So it's backwards head. So in my head, I gotta keep thinking. Take it off. All right, we're gonna say that's good. We'll find out if it breaks or not. This is standard thread. There we go. I'm going to put some water in there and make sure it's holding. That's open. Of course. Now we're going to clean this up and put some water in it. Test that valve. My, uh, it's really muggy today. A 40 gallon stock tank from Tractor Supply. Uh, just a planter. Hardware store. Uh, 30 gallon, uh, 850 pump that was on sale for 30 bucks. So it's more pumped than what I need, but that's, uh, I couldn't pass up $30. It'll work. So the valve is working that I put in there. I've got a drain system around the bottom. Just put a hose in with some D-fittings so that I can drain that bottom when I'm ready to. And the bog, the bog pump, I'm just going to use this and just send this to the bottom. Hold it in there with the bog material. Somewhere off to the side. And that's my first uh, first pond. So we'll see what happens. But as of right now, I'm I'm, I'm enjoying the project. Let's uh, fill this up with bog material, put my sediment down there, and then uh, we're gonna rock and roll. I'll I'll check back with you when I get it done. I finished my goldfish pond a couple weeks ago. It's been running. Uh, I've got goldfish in here now. I just really have lava rock. I do have a little bit, some bamboo plants that I put in here. Some cuttings of bamboo. And then inside I've got some other live plants. A water lily. I don't know if it's going to make it or not. And then just two other green plants in here. A couple goldfish. But otherwise, the water's been staying really clear. When I turn off the pump, this pot in the middle with my uh, bog pump, my bog filter, the water goes down to this water level, and that's it. So if the power were to shut off, that's all it does. And, of course, then this water comes up over here. Um, but it doesn't go over the edge. It's all balanced out. But it's been running great. Everything's working real good. The pre-filter staying clean. The two goldfish are staying healthy. This project's done other than, you know, just keeping them healthy and fed. And uh, they're looking pretty happy in there. Let's take a look if we can. There's one of the plants right there. It's doing really well. There's one right there. Where's the other one? Come on up. Look for some food, buddy. 
Water from the pump gets drawn in at the bottom, gets pushed all the way to the bottom. This filters up to the lava rock and then disperses.